a general reading for my Libras. Um, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Please feel free uh, to leave me a comment, click on the like button. If you do need a personal reading with me, you can do so by booking a reservation on my website. All the information that you need are uh, under this video. All right, so now let's get started. Let's see what's going on here with you, Libras. Please be mindful of any comments that you leave. I do expect respectful comments, okay? Because any comments that are not respectful will be blocked from my website. All right. I just was giving me a video for my judgment so Libra for, for some of you um, you may be in a situation right now where you feel judged by other people you feel judged by your family members um, you may feel judged by your friends as well there's something going on here where you don't feel easy by yourself you don't feel happy some type of way um, for others of you, there's also something here that got to do with fear of death or you are fearful of life altogether. I don't know what's going on or what happened, but you may not be really happy with God at this time. And either you need to retreat, you may need to retreat, you may need to have some type of prayers you may need to retreat for some type of spiritual breaks but there's something going on where you are very much unsatisfied uh, with the divine that's exactly what i feel for others it's like either you feel like you've been cursed or you feel like your life is a curse but there's something that is not really going well this may not have to do with money this may have to do with you know life in general your life in general for others there's something going on where it could also have to do with money maybe you are facing some type of financial issues that are really scaring you right now or you are facing some type of disagreements with your family and you're like why me like why is it always me why do i always have to go through this now when it comes to a relationship you may feel betrayed by someone that you really care about either you're in a relationship with a scorpio or your relationship with someone who's like an aquarius or gemini or libra like yourself and there's some type of betrayal that you are really worried about maybe someone did something to you that you cannot really forget someone said something to you that you cannot really forget you know you also may feel like someone is burning your your wings or someone literally broke your wings off okay so you may have had some type of trust with a person but the person betrayed you this could be someone who used you uh either someone used you for your money that, and then left you hanging or someone use the trust that you 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 had available for him and then left you hanging so you may be in a situation where it's pretty hard for you right now to really trust people to really trust someone for others this may have to do with a divorce it's like either you you are a divorcee and the divorce that you've been through was horrible and it's been very hard for you to like fall in love with someone again and then maybe the next partner you got was even more awful than the next uh, or than the previous one 
So you are really going through a tough time right now, but I feel like you need time to love yourself. You need time to uh, embrace your life or you need time to just be grateful for what is actually working right in your life at this point. Six of Pentacles. For others of you, um, despite the issues that you could be facing at this time with your personal life, I also feel like you are still trying to hang on to your dignity or you are still trying to hang on to what makes you you, you know? So you may be trying to work, open a business, open a restaurant, um get something to work for yourself you may also be trying to find a way to make some money right now for others you gotta be careful because i don't know i feel like you may start seeing a lot of frogs around you so i don't know where you live but you need to be careful about that either it's frogs or some type of animal okay but what I also see is that you may also be seeing a frog and it will be a sign of good luck for financial wealth. So you may get some type of money very soon or you may get some type of news about money that has been waiting somewhere and that belongs to you. And um, it's almost going to be the time for you now to go and collect that money. This may have to do with inheritance. This may have to do with the sale of a house, the sale of a home. This could also be some type of money that you are now getting after a divorce, okay? So nothing, everything is not bad uh, when it comes to your reading. It's more like acknowledging the hurt that you are feeling, but also be ready for the blessings that will be coming after that hurt. Five o'clock. For others, be careful of someone stealing money from you or uh, be careful of some type of debt that you may be engulfed into because of someone else. Um, for others of you, if you do have someone that reach, reaches out to you to ask you for money, I say it would be best for you to say no. Try not to lend money that you don't have, okay? Try not to lend money that you don't have to people who are either always calling you for money or always asking money from you. It's very important that you keep your head on your shoulder when it comes to that. Um, for others of you, you also need to be mindful about your spending. I don't know what's going on, but you may have been overspending your money and now you may not have enough money to live or you may not have enough money to be. So it's very important for some of you to really be careful about some type of investment, financial investment, or the way you invest your money. Because I see here a whole lot of money coming through, but I also see that whole lot of money getting out of your way as soon as it comes in. So you really have to be careful about where you put your money, how you invest your money, what you do with your money. This may also have to do with some type, again, some type of house that you sold. So you may have sold a home, uh, you may have sold something, but you may have spent the money in the wrong way. So you gotta be careful about how you spend your money altogether. For others of you, there's also something here that gotta do with a job. It's, it could be the loss of a job and it's like, either it's a lot, the loss of a job or it's the loss of a business, okay? Um, there may be some type of ideas that you have when it comes to having a business, building a business from the ground, but you may also not want to do that business because you feel like it's a whole lot of money and something like that. So again, you got to be careful about how you invest your money, how you spend your money. Anything that you want to spend on that will not be giving you money back, I would say don't invest in it. Okay. And this is our final six of pentacles. For others of you, when it comes 
to a relationship something is not working i feel like there was a relationship you felt would be working but it's not working and you may be losing hope on it as of this time someone is not really putting equal efforts um to be with you this could be someone that may be a, a potential lover, but it's like either you feel like your partner doesn't pay attention to you or you feel like your partner doesn't really care about you at this time. So there's some type of pain that you may be going through when it comes to your emotional being, emotional well-being. Six of Pentacles, yeah. There's a relationship that was supposed to happen and I feel like either it's not happening or you are still in the relationship right now, but it's not really what you want. It's not really the way it's supposed to be. This could also be a secret relationship. So you may be dating someone who already got a family, or you may be dating someone who's already married. Maybe someone promised you to divorce and then to marry you, but it's not really happening. So you have to be careful about that. I'm just gonna find the Five of Cups. Yeah, for others, you may also feel like you are going to, to, to remain single for a very long time. You feel like you're going to remain single for a very long time, especially if there's a breakup that is happening. For others, you may be tired of being single. You are tired of being alone. I also feel someone here who feels lonely. You got to make sure that you don't really feel lonely at the end of the day. But for some, if there is a person that you are dating right now, I would say this is just for sex. So I'm going to stop right here. I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you next time for another reading. Thank you so much and bye-bye.